Our legal experts are warning on the need for IBC, along with NASA and the Jubilee leaders, to cooperate in ensuring the October 26 repeat polls are free, fair, and credible. NASA has unleashed what could be the ultimate secret card should their push for electoral reforms fail. Article 138, Section 2 of the 2010 Constitution on the procedure of presidential election states that where two or more candidates are nominated in an election, an election shall be held in each constituency. It is in these two words, each constituency, that NASA relies on for the argument. The NASA legal think tank insists the words should invalidate a presidential election boycotted by voters in any constituency within the NASA strongholds on account of the raging standoff over NASA's irreducible minimum electoral reforms, without which Odinga insists there should be no repeat poll. More constituencies have no returns on elections. Then, by law, that election will be invalidated. To my knowledge, no election has ever been invalidated on the basis uh, of where was the other party on election. If uh, the election was organized uh, in the constituency, uh, the logistical, technical wherewithal uh, had been put in place, but uh, a section of the electorate uh, decided not to participate, then it will be difficult for one to say that uh, the election was not held.